guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our part 4 inside this video session guys we are going to create our first program in laravel 8 and also guys if you are looking off the blog articles of cake php 4 code igniter 4 mysql node.js wordpress so you must visit this blogging website Inside this blogging website, you will find several interesting topics. Now, if I back to browser, as we can see that we have right now all these categories listed inside this drop down. And recently, we have posted all about Cake PHP 4 form validation with an example. So, inside this blogging website, you will find several interesting topics with good contents. Now back to the topic. So inside this video, we will create our first program in Laravel 8. Inside this video, we will create our first route, first controller, as well as first view file. Now if I back to editor, in the last video, we understood all about the default landing page of Laravel 8 version. In that video, we also understood about the flow of our route and the view file. So first of all, to create our first program, we need a controller file. So to create a controller file, we will follow artisan command. Means by the help of command line tool, we will create our controller. So if I back to terminal, here we have started our development server. So what I will do, I will open a new tab, go to view, click on zoom in and simply type php artisan pressing enter so when we press enter php artisan will list all the available commands so inside this available command section we will see that we have make controller inside this make section make controller specifies that by running this command it is going to create a new controller class and it will store the controller class files inside the folder called app http and controllers folder so right now we have a single file called controller.php so when we create any new controller class it will go and store inside this folder back here so this is the command so what i will do simply copy that go here and if i type php artisan control shift v to paste and if we want to actually get the help guide of this command simply type php artisan help make colon controller now if we press enter this command will give you the guide of this command so here the description of that this command is going to create a new controller class and inside this means while using this command we need to pass a name that is the name of the class and all these options so right now we are not going to discuss about these options only we need to pass an argument called name means a value for the controller class name so what i will do simply let's say php artisan make controller and if i type the name of the class that is site and it will con it will create the file called site.php now if i press enter as we can see that controller created successfully now if i back to editor reload this and as we can see that inside this controllers folder we have a new file called site.php this site controller it's a class and this site extends controller class and these two packages means it actually imports the request package and automatically it has declared the namespace of this class file now let's create some methods inside this site class file so what i will do public let's a function and simply here i will call or i will define a first method 
pressing Ctrl Shift I to format the class file and inside this let's write a simple static message for now so this has a h1 element inside this let's say welcome to first method so all we had done with the controller file next we need to work with the route so that we will open inside browser and run this method so as we know or understood in the last video that for the routes we need to go back in the routes folder and make use of web.php file so what i will do simply go here routes folder web.php and inside this file we will configure our application routes so first of all i am to remove this comments let's say that route here we'll use get request type we need to provide our route name so simply we need to call something the first in the second we need to call our controller so in the previous versions of laravel the syntax of declaring routes with the controller file is different but now in laravel 8 it is totally different what is the difference keep in mind when you have used the older versions of laravel simply let's say for this route we need to point towards this method so inside this we need to pass called site at the rate and here we need to write first it means while tapping this route to the browser it will call the first method of this site controller but inside this laravel each version if we save this file copy this first back to browser and if we type first here then we, we will get an error something called target class site does not exist so in level 8 the calling routes with the help of controller and its method is bit different so how we configure simply back to route file go here we need to actually first import our controller file inside this web.php file so let's say use and we have the controller called site and it is inside this controllers folder so here we have successfully imported our site class file now next we need to use inside this route configuration so get rid of that or simply if i copy this line pasting it here just comment this line now inside this in laravel 8 version to call our routes define an array inside this array let's say that we have site class so it's a class comma and in the second value we need to pass the method name so inside this controller file we have the first method name so i will pasting it here so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page and as we can see that now we are getting successfully all about the first method execution so far guys we have created our first controller with the name of site inside this site controller we have created our first method and successfully we have executed by config by configuring our first route let's create our first view file so for the view file what i will do back to controller get rid of this line or simply comment return view and inside this we need to pass our view file name so what i will do let's say first and as we know that inside Laravel we are using Blade template engine so we need to create a file with the name of something first dot blade dot php inside resources views folder so copy the file name back to the resources folder go to the views folder because inside this views directory we will store all the application views files so we are going to create our view file inside this folder so this is first.blade.php 
I will copy the contents what actually we have written here pasting it here let's declare another h3 element this is a simple view file all we have done we have created controller a method called the view file and successfully we have written our route configuration inside this web.php now go here reload this page and as we can see that successfully we are getting our view file now if i back to editor here we have called our first method of site class controller and this is the route but if we want to use the closer syntax to call this view file means to call this route what i will do simply let's say route here we will use get method inside this we have our first route and inside this simply we need to declare anonymous function and inside this anonymous function return and simply let's say view and here we need to pass our view file name so if we copy go here reload this page and as we can see that it is running perfect so here we have seen all about the declaration of closer route and one more thing before closing this video is that while creating any controller for this controllers folder means if you are developing any application and if you want to create some controller you can follow any naming convention like we have created here site.php if you are interested to create the file name something site controller.php you can create also there is no naming convention for that but if you go at documentation you will find the naming something like sitecontroller.php so if we want to create such type of file simply back here let's say that php artisan make controller and if we want to create the controller name something like this so simply press enter go here reload this and as we can see that inside this controllers folder we are getting home controller.php while configuring route with this controller simply we need to pass something route get method here we need to provide our route name next we need to call our home controller so home controller first of all before using that we need to actually import here so use let's say home controller and here we as we can see that the intellisense automatically pick the controller name so home controller it is defined inside this controllers folder and automatically we will use that controller class to actually point our method so here we have the method name so this will be the syntax to call our methods from home controller and here we are getting some error this is because we have used a single dot actually we need to use a scope resolution operator so successfully guys inside this video we have configured our first controller first route as well as we had seen all about first view file inside next video we will discuss all about routes in detail like how can we pass parameters in route how can we get the parameters inside methods or what are the different different types of methods while making any route inside application so we will discuss the complete concept of routes in level 8 in the next video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day